you know, it kind of happened, it just happened on accident, but I ended up, my work at the nonprofit um, provided me with opportunities to build, right? And I think a lot of people, um, aspiring PMs or people that are aspiring just to get in any type of position, forget that you have, one, you have transferable skills, but at the, on the same time, you have to show that hiring manager that your score, your, how your skills actually transfer, like, right. all, like what projects have you worked on? And if you, there is no shortage of projects for nonprofits. I mean, it'd be super yeah. easy. A lot of leaders on LinkedIn as well, where you could just Google search some grassroots nonprofits, help them build their mailing list, build their website, right. build out right. an inventory, build something, document I think it. That's great. Yeah. Like, like the nonprofit route is, is, is you, you nailed it with that. And um, there's so many uh, free technology tools out there that you can you know, help them use that they may not be aware to, right? Like a lot of nonprofits aren't into the weeds of technical, uh, the, the technical scope that they, they need. And so, um, you know, I, I personally help nonprofits myself. I, I work with a group out here, Project Avery, and just like little things that they need, getting on the phone and talking through the, the um, manager through how to help them out is, is useful for them. But also like if I was an aspiring PM, there's like a ton of opportunity that they can enhance, right? And Absolutely. just build. Like, I think the other part that you nailed on that was um, the applied knowledge piece, right? There, there's there's podcasts and books and courses that you can take, but nothing's going to be applying your knowledge and having something tangible that you can show. Yeah, you know, um, funny. So here, my story into web design is my nonprofit needed some updates on their website. And I never forget, I, they asked me, I sent them the email, I said, sorry, I don't know how to do this. And I was like, I just, crap, I left, the, I left, let the nonprofit down, let my friends down. And, and then I just spent the next month learning how to do it. And then I executed on it. And then now I, I build websites freelance and do one a month and make pretty good money. So um, right. that open door, that gave me projects to work on. It, it gave me a place to serve, uh, a great cause to serve. And like you said, there's tons of free tools. Canva has free nonprofit tools. Google Cloud, you could, if, if you're interested, anybody listening, if you're interested in Google, well, guess what? You go to a nonprofit and mi migrate their data to Google Cloud. It's free and you can be the admin for them and just migrate it. Um, right. Let's see here, MailChimp. You could help build a email list right. for free. So there's so many different outlets. Canva, do some design work. You know, there's, there's yeah. just so much opportunity out there. And even like when you think about opportunities for nonprofits and, and trying to figure out just picking up the phone and, and volunteering and asking what are the, some of their pain points, right? Like Absolutely. if it's operational, like if it's the, like food banks are, are struggling right now on operational needs and like, you know, how do you help them set up like an event right to schedule um, people volunteering or maybe it's, it's a mail list and helping them with MailChimp or it's also like at the SEO a aspect of it. Like there's a lot of new nonprofits that are starting people who want to help and figuring out how can you help nonprofits become more discoverable, right? And implementing some some blog posts or some relevance rankings to help their, their pages on Google. 